Okay, this is a tutorial on how to team standby on Halo 2. And if you don't know what team standby is, it's where you, um, if you're host, you get to control, like, the connections, and you make everybody else lag their connection except for you. It's like they're walking into walls and shit, and you're killing them, and it makes it real easy to win. It's like, it's like cheating to get your level up, and this is how you do it. You need these three programs. You need Kane Enable, which is this, which is this program. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Which is this program right here. You need Auto Standby 1v1, which is this program. And you need um, Zone Alarm Pro, which is this program. This program right here. Alright, now how to do it is first you need to set up Kane Enable. And if you don't know how to set it up, then I got a link in the video information that tells you how to set it up. Okay, just go to the link and read it. And if it's really that complicated, if enough people tell me that's too complicating to set up Kane Enable, then I'll make a fucking tutorial. But at least fucking try to read it. Alright, go after you set it up. Go to Sniffer, which is right here. Click on it and then go down to APR, which is right here. And then it should have this screen. Click on the, um, the biohazard sign. And it should start giving IP addresses. Okay? The one that says 192 isn't the IP address. Okay? Anyone that says 192, that's not the IP because there's some on the left and the right. There's one over here and there's one over here. So, whichever one, <coughs> every person, the IP, this is the IP addresses of everybody in your Halo 2 party. So, what you first do is first you need to put Bungie's IP in. And to put somebody's IP in, you open up Zone Alarm. You go to you go to firewall. You go to zones, and then you go to add add IP address. All right, and then it's gonna have this. You put in their IP address, and then you put Bungie or whatever you want to put for them, just as long as you know who it is. All right, and if you don't know what Bungie's IP is, it's 65. 59234161 Okay, that's their IP address And then you put it in and then you put in whoever else is gonna stand by with you So you go make a party Invite everybody who, who's gonna stand by then you remove all and then it should only have how many are in your party and plus Bungie But right now I'm in a big team battle game. So there's a lot of IPs but this is everybody in here so you go to back to zone alarm you add everybody's IP and then you go to main and this should have this okay now open up auto standby which is this program you put on uptime you put two and downtime you put three that's kind of crappy drawing but here two three right there two three and then you put start which is right there but I'm not gonna start it cuz I don't have host and it's just gonna lag me out if I don't have host okay so you put start and then you whenever you put start go back to zone alarm don't click on anything just straight have it like this have auto standby with zone alarm right there next to it with this bar you have to have this bar right here you have to have this right here for you. Alright, you click start and then you click medium, which is right here. It should go up, down, from medium high, medium high, medium high. And then everybody's connection will start getting red, except for the people's whose IP you put in. If it starts going medium off, medium off, medium off, then push, go back to auto standby. Oh shit. Go back to auto standby, push stop and then start it again and then try it again because sometimes that happens but hardly ever alright and then you'll be standby but some people 
have shitty connection and they can never get host for some reason. So this is how you stand by for host. Make sure your your little biohazard thing is on. Make sure it's always on, okay, throughout the whole process of standbying and throughout the process of this. Alright, you open up zone alarm to standby for host, alright? You get everybody's IP in and everything. Then you put um make sure you're in the pregame lobby and put your internet zone security on high, okay? And then um, anybody whose IP is not in here is going to automatically lag out and they're going to leave your party. And everybody whose IP is in here is going to stay in there with you. <coughs> so, um, oh yeah, and make sure you put it under trusted. Or unless you want to boot somebody out of the party, then you put it on block. Alright, but then you go and um, you put um, your internet zone on high and then you start the game. And the countdown will come up and then it'll um, give you box host. And once you get box host, then you put your medium, I mean you put your zone security on medium. And then people will start joining, you'll get little yellow boxes. Alright, and then as soon as you see, um, it says stage 3 configuring game. As soon as the boxes go away and it says that you're the only one in the party, you hurry up and push this stop button that's right here and then it should like mute everybody you won't be able to hear anybody if you did it right and then this little um this little lock should like lock up right here that's how you know you did it all right and then it should um the boxes should come back and it should show you your game and it should be like at a stage four of the countdown and then hurry up and push stop again and then you'll be able to hear everybody and then you'll have host once the game starts and then you can stand by but some people have really good connection like me and they get host without having to stand by for host but that's how you stand by on halo 2